All right, so I'll admit it, Mike, we had some fun today. Now this afternoon, we went to an important fundraiser for one local spot in Old Orchard Beach. That's the Thrash Bash. That brought Maine skateboarders together for some fun, obviously, but there's a bigger goal on everyone's mind. And the crowd goes wild for skateboarding? Yeah, that's right. This is Thrash Bash, and it's all about getting on the board. It's a traditional event that we've had for the past like five or six years. It's a great event that's grown and grown over the years. Jason Weber is the recreation director for Old Orchard Beach. He's glad the event returned on Saturday. It's fun to see everybody come out. Last year, because of COVID, we couldn't do it. So uh, it's just great to see everyone coming out here and uh, representing Old Orchard. It may be a skate park, but to everyone here, it's home. Oh, it's awesome. It's like family. It's like a family. Like We're all here pretty much every day. These riders say the skate community in Maine is growing, but here, the family's getting a little too big. You see how many people we have out here, and there's only like two bowls, so it starts to get a little hectic. People run into it, one another. Sometimes the answer to a bigger family is just more space. A bigger park would really just benefit the whole community all around. Now it's the community's turn to drop in, and help out. We need about 125,000 to expand what we already have is a great skate park. So we decided to do a campaign uh, to fundraise the second part of it. And every dollar counts to help expand this home for anyone, young or old, because in this family, it's all about sharing the good vibes. Everyone's accepted in skateboarding. As long as you're there and just like having fun, it's hard to like hate on that, you know? That was one of the most fun assignments I've ever had for work. And everyone knows how much I love snowstorms. So if you want to donate to help the OOB skate park expand, head over to the town website, click the Thrash Bash link right on the home page, and give a donation. And I want to say a, a few things. One, I think I gained like 10 cool points just being there with all the skateboarders. And, and there were kids you could see. There was, you know, seven-year-olds, 50-year-olds, oh, yeah. boys, girls, men, women. It was awesome. And you actually got on the microphone a little bit. Can you explain to the people sure. how, they, how that even happened? Because yeah. you were calling, like, the competition. Yeah, I, uh, I ended up emceeing part of the competition. So what they were doing is they would do tricks, right? Mm -hmm. And the person emceeing would call out what the trick was and try to get the crowd stoked, right. get everybody to clap, get everybody happy. Uh, so I happened to just walk over, and they were like, Slifer, you talk on television, here's the microphone. And I was like, all right, here we go. Um, so, you know, it's always fun. I mean, luckily they, they picked you because my skateboarding knowledge is limited to watching the X Games, <laughs> Olympics, or like Tony Hawk, the video game. So I would have sure. no idea. And you sounded like a pro. That's Thank a, you. you sound pretty good uh, with a microphone. Yeah, that's what they pay me for. Yeah, you should do it for a career.